Well, I was actually told about it by my agency, and I always look for every opportunity to like speak to to people aspiring to join the uh, film uh, industry in any way. Um, because when I was younger, I, that's exactly what I did. And I just went out and found anybody I could to just please tell me, you know, what is it that needs to happen? Because it, it could seem like a very mysterious business um, and, and very elusive in a certain way. So I, I always found it helpful as a kid and it, it just was, meant so much to me when somebody would share uh, their experiences and, you know, hey, watch out for this and, and always, you know, do X or Y, you know. And it just was a fantastic experience, so I always look to do that whenever I can. And I actually like to do this. I, I prefer to create rules for myself. Extremely tight rules, ridiculous rules. Um, there will be no trumpets. There will be no, the, all these kind of things. And then throughout the process, I inevitably break my own rules. But in doing so, I feel like I'm doing some sort of horrible taboo that when I do break the rule, I don't go over the top. So there are trumpets in Act of Valor, but not in the way that you would think. Not some sort of huge, soaring Americana theme. It's just not there. It's, it's, it's only for a couple of the tight action scenes um, that we use to sort of fill out the sound. But I always try to create a facet that's not on the screen. Um, so I like to have long conversations with the directors about, you know, what are we, what kind of movie are we making here? Even if it's a blatant action film or something, it's like, what kind of movie are we making here? Are we getting inside of their head? Are we, is it just, is it just fear driven? You know, what are we trying to do? And then that will change the tone and how I write this. So I would say this, you have to be adaptable. You have to be able to, you know, you don't want to do this kind of score, but that's what they want. So you have two choices. You can either not do it and probably not get a very, it's not even about staying on the project. You'll get a bad reputation as somebody who might be difficult. So I would say the top thing I could tell you guys is don't be difficult. Um, that's, always, that's always like number one, don't be difficult. So, um, but then the other thing is, is that regardless of what style you're asked to do, there's no reason why you can't still bring yourself into that. Never give up. Always do what you do. And if people are telling you uh, that you, you, know, you should fall back on something or do something else, just if you believe in it and it's what you want to do, just keep doing it. And uh, a yes is a yes and a no is a maybe. And always live by that and you'll be fine.